Good morning boys and girls. Welcome to another social studies lesson. And in today's class, we continue learning about the different national symbols of Belize. What do you see there on my screen? What animal can you see there on the blackboard, boys and girls? Yes, that is a tapir. So today we are going to be learning about the national animal, the tapir. So I'm going to begin the lesson by reading you a story. So it is story time. The name of the story is The Lizard and the Tapir. The name of the story is The Lizard and the Tapir. Once there was a little lizard who was seeking for food and to rest. The little lizard is a very good swimmer. She paddles toward a water lily and climbs on the leaf. Her long legs carry her from lily pod to lily pod. She reaches the shore and keeps on running. Little lizard hops over to a fallen tree trunk. All the other lizards are gone. Little lizard seems to be alone now, but she is safe. Little Lizard is surrounded by more strange animals, but she knows that these animals won't hurt her. She jumps onto a tree branch hanging over the water. Suddenly, Little Lizard discovers she is not alone and not at all safe. The tree trunk under her starts to roll. Little Lizard sees that the tree trunk is really a tapir. A forest animal that looks like a pig with a long snout. She leaps onto a nearby tree and escapes from danger. The tapir moves onto a better resting place. Two, as little lizard scampers quickly across the branch. Little, little lizard needs to find more food. She jumps from tree to tree looking for insects and a safe place to rest. Little Lizard is safe at last. The end. So here is the story, uh, the, a picture of the Little Lizard and here is a picture of the Tapir. Did you like the story boys and girls? Now let us look at a video together. Let us look at this video together boys and girls. And now, 8 amazing facts about Bayard's Taper the intriguing animal you're gazing at this very moment. Number one, you may never have seen this animal before, but it's been here longer than we humans have. Its ancestors have been around for 35 million years. Number two, Baird's Taper is the official national animal of Belize, the country between Mexico and Guatemala. Number three, in Belize, it's called the mountain cow. Although it's not a cow, it's really related to the horse and the rhinoceros. Number four, it has 14 toes, four on each front foot and three on each rear foot. Number five, tapers have a rubbery, highly flexible nose, perfect for eating leaves, fruit, and aquatic vegetation, which they do. Number six, the Baird's Taper weighs up to 700 pounds. Number seven, their numbers are dwindling and they now face extinction because humans are destroying their habitat. And number eight, Baird's Taper was named after a naturalist who mounted an expedition in Mexico in 1843. He brought back the skeletal remains of this species to America, and this was the first time it had been studied by scientists. So if you discover a new species, you might get to name it scientifically after yourself. But get busy. Tapers aren't the only species facing extinction. So are an unknown number of species yet to be discovered. All right, boys and girls, did you like this video? So yes, 
Today's focus is the tapir, and the tapir is our national animal. The tapir is the national animal of Belize. It is also known as the mountain cow. The color of the tapir is dusty brown. Tapirs are good swimmers. It has short legs. The tapir eats plants and fruits. Now here boys and girls, I have several pictures of how the tapirs look. So remember, the tapir is the national animal of Belize. It is also known as the mountain cow. The color of the tapir is dusty brown. Tapirs are good swimmers. It has short legs and the tapir eats plants and fruit. Now let us do this activity together. So you should have this worksheet at home with you. So we're going to color the tapir and circle the correct answer. But I cannot color the tapir because I don't have crayon on my, on my computer. But I can help you answer the questions below. The tapir is also known as, what is the tapir known as? A, a dog or B, a mountain cow. What is the tapir also known as, boys and girls? A, a dog or B, mountain cow. Circle your correct answer. Let us look at number two. Tapirs are A, good swimmers or B, good football players. Tapirs are A, good swimmers or B, good football players. Circle your answers. And remember to color the tapir brown. Remember to color the tapir brown. And that's it for our class, boys and girls. I'll see you this afternoon for our science class. Take care.